All right, welcome back to Morning Break. As you mentioned earlier, Thanksgiving just mm -hmm. a week away from today. And with all the cooking that we have seen here uh. on Morning Break, I'm not sure that I'm going to make it another <laughs> week. Another week. I'm ready. And I, I haven't because I've munched on just about everything that's come through well, here. Well, the good thing is you don't have to wait any longer to see more tips from our WTOC <laughs> colleagues who have been cooking for us here on Morning Break. Jamie Earl whipped up one of her holiday favorites. You can limit some calories on your table. It's just what you might like to have on Thanksgiving. Take a look. Hi, Kyle and Tim. Thanks for having me. You know, I really thought hard about what I was going to make today because I feel like I'm not used to the stove. I feel like um, I excel at baking and I made my cocoa cups last year, but I thought let's take it old school. Something that I've always had growing up and I always ask for. My grand made this, so it's grand's creamed cauliflower. I feel like cauliflower is all the rage now. If you go on side dishes, uh, searching for that on Google, it's all about Brussels sprouts, how to cream and bake and roast and vinaigrette Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. So I thought, wow, I've been eating cauliflower since I was a baby. So what I've done is I've already added my quarter cup of butter and my quarter cup of flour. Apparently this is called a roux. Be quiet, stove. Um, hush. <laughs> and now I'm gonna add 2% milk. Um, I normally don't drink 2% milk, but this is to make the sauce, the cream, thick and creamy. And an homage to my grand. This is a Pyrex two cup measuring cup, and you could barely see the actual measurements on the side. So we're kind of gauging here. Um, uh, yeah, I don't use this when baking because baking has to be a little bit more exact than just sauce. I feel like sauce is kind of eyeballing it, and you make what you like. Do you like it thick? Do you like it? kind of runny. Um, I like my sauces thick, kind of like I like my grits. I like thick grits and I cannot lie. Runny grits are just, but we're not going to go into that right now. We're making cream cauliflower. So that was a cup of milk and now I'm adding half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes cream can be confusing in the store because is it heavy whipping cream? Is it whipping cream? It's almost the same, so just make sure that you're looking at the percentages. So we're gonna let this kind of bubble and simmer. Um, I've got three cloves of garlic here, fresh garlic, yummy. Um, even if it's not fresh garlic, it's still yummy. Um, so I'm going to peel this and have some fun with it. I love, love garlic. This is a pretty big clove right here. So I'm not gonna ask, add the whole thing. And honestly, I'm not very good with knives. I was going to make something. Um, I think there's a whole class on knives that you could actually take. But anyway, I was gonna make something else that my grand used to make and um, she used to make something Scottish straight off the boat that immigrated here in 1962 with my mom and my aunt in tow. So I'm first generation American. Uh, they, she used to make neeps. And I thought, oh wow, I can make neeps. No, it, it's, it's a turnip and a turnip is huge. And I'm so bad with knives, so difficult to cut. So I thought, let's make cream cauliflower, right? And this is so yummy and creamy it could substitute for your mashed potatoes as well. So think about it. Who ever has just one serving of mashed potatoes, right? I know I don't. I probably have three when they're on the table, especially when they're full of butter and cheese and garlic and yumminess. So the sauce needs to thicken. And like I said, I'm not very good at this stove. So it needs to bubble a little bit, which it's not doing right now but I can't remember the last time I bought a whole head of cauliflower, but anyway. So that's gonna bubble up. Now, I like to use shredded mild cheddar, but I also brought Parmesan, um, and something I saw in my fridge, you know what laughing cow is cheese, and it's very malleable, it's very soft, so that might mix well. So it's all about your taste, how what kind of cheesiness, what kind of flavor you want with 
your creamed cauliflower. Um, so this is getting warm. This is gonna thicken. It's not thickening too fast right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and add the cheese and then that's gonna add like a yummy meltiness. And it actually smells really good in here, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just eyeballing it here. This could be a half a cup of cheese. This could be a whole bag of cheese. Whatever you want, right? We're trying to make a vegetable creamy and yummy and pretty hard right now. So I'm gonna bring out the old Pyrex dish and I saw this was trending on Facebook or Twitter or somewhere a couple of years ago. These Pyrex bowls, if you can get like a set, you know, the nesting set, the blue ones with the wavy designs on them, they're going for like a thousand dollars. Can you believe that? My brown wheat one probably wouldn't get anything at a garage sale. So anyway, um, there's also a garnish that you can put on here. Uh, cracked pepper, I'm also gonna add a little salt to taste, even though I try not to add too much salt because I feel like there's enough saltiness in the cheese, but sometimes it doesn't do the trick with the flour and the heavy whipping cream. So just a little bit of salt. It can be, you know, um, your regular salt, table salt, or it could be sea salt. Oh yes. Yes, I don't know if you could see this. I'm, I'm gonna hold it up again, but it is looking so yummy and creamy right now. I kinda just wanna take this spoon and stick it in my mouth, but it's really hot. Yep, and then you pour it over your cauliflower, which I riced myself earlier. And, oh, I think it's done. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna turn the stove off, or down at least, so this can cook a little bit more. And you can garnish with ground pepper. You can also garnish with parsley, but I, I don't see the point in parsley. Somebody educate me on that. So I brought green onion. It adds a little flavor, it's fresh, it adds a little bit of crunch, uh, because your cauliflower should be reduced to not a mush necessarily, but not as crunchy as the raw cauliflower. But, Grand's dish, Grand's measuring cup, and Grand's recipe for creamed cauliflower. Thanks for having me.